Hello Techers, here's our quick tip number one. There has been a number of issues that came out of installing and uninstalling antivirus software for unsatisfactory performance in Windows 10. It is therefore worthy to note that most of the time, when an antivirus is installed on Windows, Windows Defender is disabled for compatibility reasons. The problem is that, sometimes it just so happened that when a user decides to uninstall the antivirus, Windows Defender stays disabled, and users are left unprotected from viruses and other malware. Understand that Windows Defender is the first line of defense, and at times a requisite as well to install other services or software, but we'll show that on another quick tip series. The real issue is that when you need to enable Windows Defender service, all its options are grayed out when you run services.msc, and there's no way to enable and start the service. Users are dead in the water so to speak. Our solution to this is quite easy, and please note that our commands here don't go the hierarchy of commands in Windows such as start, click, type, run, etc. We always get there the quickest. Anyway, the graying out is a built-in default by Windows to avoid tampering the protection service, but one may activate and restart it by simply doing the following. Number 1, open Windows PowerShell as administrator by clicking the search icon on the lower left of your screen and typing PowerShell on the search bar. Number 2, type and run the following command to enable and add the start entry on Windows registry. I have written the command in the description below in order for you to cut and paste. You're done, and you should see that Windows Defender is now enabled and running. Thank you very much for viewing our video, and please, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is Daki of Phenomtech. Have a great day everyone.